Hey, what's going on, guys? I Nick. This next year, and I'm back with a brand new video on Terraria. Now, um, I, I don't know. I just thought of doing this, and I want to hear your guys' feedback. Um, after recording uh, last episode of Portal Stories Mel, not even half an hour later, I had the idea of recording Terraria because one, it's one of my favorite games, other than Dark Souls. And Dark Souls is just like fucking baller. I, if you haven't played it, I recommend that you highly, uh, highly play it. I recommend you highly play it. Whatever. But, um, yeah. I, I don't know. I just thought of playing this because it's one of my favorite games. I know what to do in it. And, I don't know. It just seems fun. And I can do r random things in it that, you know, are entertaining. Like, I can go farming, I can go do whatever. Fuck, I can go kill a boss. Like the mechanical worm. Watch this bullshit. Look at this asphalt blocks. Oh my god, I love them. Wow, you run super fast. Hey, what's up, bro? How you doing? Oh, you think you're gonna hit me? You think so? Nah. Nah. Nah, man. Yeah, it's just, I know what to do in this game, and mm, seems fun. Our base created, because 207 hours full do that to you. Like, you know, make you make a base. Yeah, if you play 207 hours of this, and you don't have a base, I have my hat off to you. But I don't see why you wouldn't want to make base, because, you know, kind of need them. Okay. Uh, let's fight the mechanical eyes. Fuck it. What's up, bruh? How you doing, bruh? By the way, if you're wondering how I got this weapon, last prism, just in case you don't know, um, I got it from killing the Moon Lord. And Moon Lord, once you know how to fight him, he's kind of, he's kind of easy to beat. But I can't beat him in expert mode. That's just something I can't do. I always farm him in uh, normal mode. And then, let's just fight Skeletor for him. With this weapon, Skeletor Prime is like the easiest boss other than the sure. Just this weapon is so overpowered. Let's see what we got, what we got from these goodie bags. No, man, I have the hiccups. Okay. Uh, goodie bag, let's see. Okay. Mechanical wagon piece, battery piece, eh, wool piece, those are all things that you need to make to get the mechanical cart, which, yeah, well, me, yeah, there goes. And I got a bunch of souls and other crap that I don't need. Okay. So, uh, while we're doing this, let me show you around my base. Now, this doesn't take long to make. I made mine the most efficient way that I know how to. And, yeah. Uh, let's just start from over here. Over here, I have my Moon Lord thing. But I don't use it because, like I said, I can't beat him. I need a friend to help me out with that. So, yeah, this is where I would fight him. And I have her to give me some more defense and her to heal me. So, you come down here. We'll get to that part over there later. Oh man, you go you move so fast on the asphalt blocks that it actually gives you motion blur. Alright, but anyhow, uh, here, let me actually activate these because it's nighttime. These are my traps, practically like my home defense. These work, like, great in normal mode. However, if you're on expert mode, it since everything has, like, more health, like that fucker did, uh, it takes a little bit more to kill them. And yeah. So they get damaged by lava, and they get damaged by these arrows, and then the poison that comes with the arrows. And then I have a bunch of banners here, so let's say you want to go kill a thing. You just stand up here, kill stuff. Or you can go down there and just turn on this, either way. And then down here you have all my NPCs. Uh, I keep the... I keep my, um... I keep... What the fuck's her name? Hold on. <laughs> Whoops. 
I keep the dryad. Yeah, there we go. I it's just like I had to go there to go whatever. So yeah, I keep my dryad on the left hand corner over here, and then on the right hand corner over here, I keep my nurse. Because if I die, I get to use her. Okay. And then over here, I have all my teleports. So over here is the obsidian generator room. Come over here. You click these buttons to get more lava or water, and then you do this to get obsidian. Now, um, there will be little leftover, like lava, when you break this block, so I'll make another obsidian. But, you know, it's whatever. And all these go to, like, the right ocean and the underworld. That took me forever. Much wire later! <laughs> Alright, so, the next place is the dungeon, which can. Just teleport over here. And then the next place after that is the jungle. Nice and purdy. Get this fallen star. And then the next part is the underworld. Let's come over here and... There goes the shit to make the obsidian generator. Like, here, let me show you the map really quick. Alright, so, uh, this is the map, yeah. I literally went to here with obsidian skin potion and just mined out this whole entire area just to connect it all so that I have like unlimited lava. That didn't take forever. And then over here I have my planter boxes, which I have yet to put seeds in. And then I have my pumpkin farm right over here and also my rare dye farm here as well because sometimes I get rare dyes. And then over here, I just uh, have a little tiny farm for uh, farming goldfish and getting compasses and other shit and glow sticks and jelly or gel. Uh, then I have all my mannequins, which eventually will have all the armor in the game. And then you come up here, come up here, come up. Uh, Would you get up here? When you come up here, you have every single crafting station in the game, which is pretty cool. And also all the buffs in the game, like that table there, that and oh, that grind thing station over there, which increases the sharpness of your weapons, and a bunch of other cool shit. And then you also have the uh, other guy that lives here, or is supposed to live here. I think he actually died, I'm not too sure. Uh, yeah, he died. He died when I was fighting boss, that's right. Okay, so yeah, he's dead. He's supposed to be there, but he's dead. Um... And then yeah, over here is just a bunch of other shit, like all my chests. So you have accessories, weapons, and ammo, soul, ore, ingots, materials, dye, seeds, and torches. Uh, you also have blocks and wood, statues and other stuff. Other stuff meaning like uh, extra furniture and stuff, potions, and then vanity and extra armor. I don't like to keep vanity over there. However, I do have two, three, four, five. Vanity. Nope, six. Vanity armors over there. But that's besides the point. And then, all I have to do is do this. Like, all I, usually what all I do is just, once I'm done farming stuff, I just come in here and just drop all my shit. And I believe it might be time to start expanding my... Uh, okay, no. It's not time. It is not yet time to do that. Let me grab my trough. My trough cruff. Okay. So, put all that stuff down. And then, yeah. This is all I really do. Um, I would, okay, there we go. And then all the boss summoning stuff and other shit goes in here. I don't really care for organization goes here, because I don't organize those shit. <laughs> I have it semi-organized, not organized all the way. And then, yeah, that's my whole entire base right there. And it's daytime, so time to turn off these traps. Uh, I believe it's daytime. Yeah, it's daytime, okay. So, um, one of the things I'm trying to do in this game is get all of the achievements. Now, almost have all the achievements, it's just that I have to do more shit for that one guy that we all love. Not really, we all hate him. He's such a douche. Such a big douche. 
Um, as we all know, I'm the Fisher guy, thingamabobber. Okay. Oop, let's go talk to him. God damn it. I gotta call on Skype. Uh, psst, I might have a job for you. Don't think you can say no either. Alright, so, Mirage Fist. Okay. So, now we gotta go catch him. And I will be right back with a special guest. Okay, I'm back, and my friend was being a butt and didn't want to be in the video. So, whatever. But anyhow, um, I, th I think what I want to do, because, um, I, I really need to finish this quest, is I want to go fishing. So, let's go fishing. Now, he said it was caught in which biome? Quest. Underground Hollow. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I don't have an Underground Hollow. I mean... Oh, wait, wait, I might... No, I don't. I have an Underground Crimson. Oh, wait, no! I'm stupid! There goes... Oh, uh, uh, why am I so dumb? Okay. So, uh, this I'm gonna have to use the Hollow Reader for. Oh, uh, underground, 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 underground. Okay, so now I just need to find the hollow. <clears throat> yeah. Alright, let's go mining. <laughs> fish there, not enough water. Highly stupid. Okay, well I'll be back as soon as I get back down there. Which all you guys are gonna see is a giant speed run of me fishing and getting down there. So I'll be back. and you're going to find me one. Ask me about it. You make a great errand monkey. Now go away. You've entertained me enough. Go away. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna bother you, bitch. Okay. Um, so he gave me nothing in particular that I care about. Yay. So that's always fucking wonderful. I hate that fisherman. I, I, I really do. I hate him. I hate him. Okay. Now, um, you don't sell the musket balls. It was you up there. Yes, you. Come here, friend. I need to speak with you. I need 999 of your most finest musket balls. Okay. Thank you, and I'll give you some flaming arrows for it. <laughs> Alright, so, I want to show you guys something. Now, you might be wondering, what the fuck's this in my inventory? It's called the Endless Quiver. You do that with 999 arrows. Now you might be wondering what I'm doing next to this crystal ball. Guess what? I'm making the exact same thing for muskets now. Uh, because I want to show you something really, 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 really cool. What the fuck, mate? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I got this. I got this. Easier way of doing it would just be doing this. What the fuck? Hold on, I gotta go into my other world and do this, I guess. God, fuck. Okay, home world 2, here we go. 
I don't know if it can be attached to anything. I'm not too sure. Okay, come here. What? Excuse you. I would like to make it. Um. Oh, wait. It has to be in my inventory, maybe? No? Really? 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 Wait, hold on. Actually, let me check something really quick. Let me go to my other home world. And I really need to set my spawn back over here. Uh, and I need to do two other things. Set the spawn there. Let me put my money away. Money, money, money. Okay. Uh, let's put my gold over here. And then my copper. Um, where is... Wait, no. That's not what I want. I want this. Okay. And then my bait. Alright, sweet. Um... I need to put my nurse over here. And you there. Okay. Now, where... Just straight down this way. I was looking for something that I didn't need to look for. Wait, no! Wait. Uh, 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 I'm composed. This is why I like my chest system, because I can just do that, and so fucking easy. Alright. I need to head over here and go look for my safe. My safe is up there. Okay. And... I need to get all of this fucking shit out, for one. That's a tackle box. Don't want that. And that's a fishing line. Neither one of those things are supposed to be in there. And neither are you. Okay. So it isn't in there either. So that means it's down over here. And... No, I have a zombie here. Um, I need you to go in here, and I need you to go in here as well. And while I'm at it, get you guys. Um, nothing else I need. Okay. Uh, a material. Oh yeah, that goes into a fish tank. That's right. Or not a fish tank, a holding tank. But you need glass and wood and, or iron. I forgot what it was. All right, let's just drop all of this shit off. Boop, boop, boop. Um, I need to find out where my musket pouch is, because that is very important. Also, by the way, I have Celestial Sigils. You get that from combining everything that you get from the uh, pillar event and to that, like all this shit that it drops. I'm not in the mood to explain it. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, everything's set. Okay, go over here, and now let's go searching for that endless musket pouch. There we go. Found it, found it, found it, found it. And you do not belong in there. I know ammo goes in there, but... Well, actually, no, ammo doesn't go exactly in this one. It goes in this one. Just do that. Oh. Alright, uh, boop. Oh, wait, I had a hand on me, damn it. Alright, um... Uh, it's just time wasted. Okay, so now that I got that endless musket pouch, so let me show you guys something. I'm going to equip the best range armor in the game, which is the vortex armor. And boop. 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 Okay, and then this Unreal SDMG, which drops from the Moon Lord. And let me just show you something insane. Me and my friend killed the Moon Lord with that thing. And hey buddy, how are you? 
I don't need any of this stuff. And why aren't you down there? You need to be down there, not up here. Just look at that insane firing speed. And the best part about it, it is a run out of ammo. And the set bonus is Tug Stealth for this, by the way. Increases range ability and reducing chance for enemies to target you, but slowing movement speed. As for the double tap. So, 16 cra increased range damage. Uh, here, let me just show you. This Unreal SDMG does 135 range damage. These bullets do 10. It's unbelievable. And I have unlimited ammo. So, yeah, this is unreal. You can tear up whole entire bosses with this thing. The only real enemy you have is those fucking thorns, that's it. <laughs> Never Bam, didn't even stand a chance. Oh, uh, let's see if I can find another enemy. Bada boom, bada boom. And only that, it makes straight light too. Oh, I'll take this heart. Take this heart as well. Ooh, I never seen you before. I'm sorry if this is annoying you, I'm just having way too much fun. Let's see, um... I think I need a hammer, that's right. <sighs> Fuck. I don't carry hammers with me. I only carry my, uh, uh, my pickaxe. Pixel. Whatever you want to call it. Mm. Okay, so let's organize really quick. Oh, uh, let's put that down there, that down there. Blah, blah, blah. Let's put this back down, and let's go equip my number armor. Okay. Also, I would show you the Malmir, the Daybreak, and other stuff, but the only real thing I want to really show you is that, because it's just so fucking awesome. And this guy is actually pretty cool too, he sells you all the magic stuff. The music box also is pretty cool because it allows you to record songs from bosses. Now, I think that's all I want to do for the this episode. Um, I mean, I could do other things, but they're not entertaining and they take a really long time and I gotta go do stuff and yeah, so, sorry. I don't mean to cut the episode short, but I gotta go do stuff. And I've been recording for quite a bit. Enough, oh, fuck. Okay, hold on. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that seeing all those stupid plants annoys me. And they keep on regrowing. God damn it. And why aren't those torches on? God oh, fuck. There we go. I think it's because these teleporters keep on turning them off. But anyhow, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. I got up for that part. I don't know.